Hello. Um, so today I'm taking my first step down what some would call a a serious and others would call a silly road. Um, I've acquired my first arcade board and um, I don't intend to acquire many more of these but um, this is one that you know when I thought about it I'm, I'm trying to kind of fulfill my my video gaming dreams here I guess and um, along that path I think this is um, this is a road that I need to travel down um, at least a little bit so um, yeah so I've picked up a Macross Plus board uh, here and um, this is the first time I've ever really you know dealt with arcade hardware before I have a power supply here this is something I just bought um, I have a VGA uh, adapter here, um, also something that I just got. Um, I have this hooked up uh, really rudimentarily. I have a big bundle of, you know, JAMA wires here. I don't know if it's good to keep these like this, but um, but I think I've got everything hooked up right. So at least I should be able to get some video, um, get, get power to the board, get some video coming out. Um, and just see how this goes. So, um, assuming I have everything right here, let's go ahead and just uh, test this out. And I just want to see if I can get some video on my screen. Uh huh. Well, look at that. That was uh, that was painless and simple. So, um. So my plans for this are really to, I'd like to get this on, you know, a real CRT. Um, I don't want to do any of this LCD junk. Um, C CRT is definitely how I want to be able to play this. And, um, you know, get it in a real cab and all that stuff. But um, for now, you know, I'll probably, I might be mocking up a, um, you know, a control panel for this. Um, something set up just just for this and, and I want to do probably another macros board here but uh, um, but uh, yeah so it looks like uh, you know everything I've got here is working so uh, yeah wow I, I, uh, <laughs> this is infectious here this is uh, this is kind of exhilarating I don't have sound hooked up or anything like that so this is just uh, just confirming that uh, that the board you know seems to be working. Uh, it looks like it's in fantastic shape, and um, you know my VGA uh, adapter is working. Power supply is okay. I tested that out to start with, so uh, very very cool. So uh, yeah, I've got this wired up here a little bit more like it uh, it is going to be when this is in a cabinet. Um, yeah, I went by some plans that were online. It was like Rob Roberts or Bob Roberts or something like that. Um, you know, had a little diagram of uh, how uh, how they would uh, set up their arcade stuff, and um, you know, it seemed pretty good. I don't know that you have to do this with everything, but most of the information that I could find, you know, had similar uh, stuff going on. So basically, I've got a power cord coming in here. It's going to this uh, this AC uh, line filter here and this noise filter, and. Um, you know, I, I ended up going with a 250 volt 20 amp, and that's probably overkill. Um, you know, I'm still a little bit new to this and learning about power and all this stuff, but it seems like what you really need to provide for is is the draw in amperage that um, is going to be, you know, on this system. And um, I don't think this is going to be pulling 20 amps. I've got uh, I've got a 5 amp fuse in here, so. Um, you know, I, honestly, I'm just, I'm not quite sure what sort of, um, you know, amperage uh, I need, what's going to be safe with the, the fuse, but it's probably not going to be drawing uh, more than 5 amps, um, you know, under normal load. I, I, I don't know, but that, I guess that's my assumption, and, um, you know, if I can test that later on or um, need a different fuse or something like that, I can do that. But, uh, anyway, this noise filter, it was like 10 bucks on, on eBay. So, um, so I went ahead with that one. Um, we got a little, uh, I forget what these are called, but, uh, just this connector here. Um, it just kind of helps when you want to, you know, pull a hundred, uh, 20 volts, you know, off to something else. You can just sort of hook it right into there instead of having to, 
um, you know, add things on, on there. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll probably wire a switch in here uh, at some point to be able to switch it on and off and that sort of stuff. But I just wanted to put this together and, and maybe just test it out here, make sure things are going okay. I'm going to plug it in and um, hope nothing explodes. So let's see. Oh, that looks, looks good so far. Um, so uh, yeah, so here we've got power uh, here. I'm not going to touch anything. Um, but you know, let's let's take a look at some of our stuff here. So let's check out. Um, so you got volts AC, and we'll just kind of make sure that our uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that our AC is coming in here. Um, we've got to there. It's 120, and uh, that's coming right in from here. That's uh, theoretically filtered off of here, and that's coming out of there. 120. So um, that all looks good. We've got, um, let's see here, this should be volts DC. Uh, here we've got our uh, our 5 volt. Um, just going over here. Um, and we can see that's 5 volts. We've got 5.05. I've, I've adjusted this a little bit so that, you know, things are, are pretty much okay. Um, but it all seems good. And I've attached the um, video converter there. I'm probably not going to use it, but this is what I'm going to be using for now. So I went ahead and just uh, screwed that on there so that's mounted. And um, yeah, you know, this is my, my power supply setup. Uh, really looking forward to getting this in a cab and uh, all set up with a nice monitor and, um, you know, the the uh, the controller, the control panel all set up. But uh, yeah, this is step number one and things seem to be going uh, very well.